I think this is gonna be a noisy one for sound because it's morning traffic outside and this is the room currently with the best light. I have work this morning. It's Monday morning. He's a set dresser uh, as a day call in the film industry and what a day call means is that they call me when they need an extra hand. Um, so what I thought I'd do for today's video is a lot of people don't understand what I mean when I say that I'm a set dresser so I thought that I would explain it more in depth as to what what it actually like what the art department looks like and what set decor like the set decoration department looks like and and all that on a film set so basically I'm a set dresser I am the bottom of the food chain from there we have a lead dresser which is sort of like an assistant to the decorator they're the ones who are going to be supervising us while we put things into place from there, we have the set decorator. The set decorator answers to the production designer. Boom. It, basically, the production designer says, I want this to look like a, a home from the 1970s or whatever. Shag carpets, vintage furniture, and so the decorator goes, great, I'm going to go find that. And she's also going to be the one, he or she, in this case, I'm working for a she, is going to be the one who goes and finds those things. Um, and then once everything, oh, and the set decorator has a buyer sometimes a two, um, which is somebody who actually goes and gets the things. Um, so the buyer will send photos of like three different vintage couches to send to the decorator. The decorator says, I want that one. The buyer will either rent it or buy it or something. And then we'll have a driver, which I don't know where the driver really factors in, who goes and picks that shit up. And from there, once everything is sort of set and it's in like our warehouse or wherever, it's ready to go to set and be dressed, then the lead dresser oversees that. Make sure everything gets onto the truck. Uh, often the lead dresser is there to make sure that we're putting it in place. Sometimes the set decorator will come by set and make sure that everything looks good. Oftentimes they will. Um, yeah. And so then us set dressers are the ones who are told, okay, put that couch there, hang this picture on the wall here, put these curtains up. We're sort of like minions. Um, we don't have a ton of a creative role in it. Um, which sounds like it wouldn't be a good deal, but I really like it that way. Um, working in film is really stressful, and when you are the designer and the decorator, you're answering to the director's wants and needs, the producer's wants and needs, and you really have to consider everybody else's vision before yours can really play. Um, as a dresser, you don't have to worry about that. A lot of people like to worry about that. I don't. Um, I like to be creative, but I think film is a really stressful way to be creative, at least in um, a union setting where you're doing like TV shows and um, movie of the week and all that kind of stuff. Um, basically where there's money to answer to. That being said, being a dresser is awesome because it's good money, now that I'm working union anyway, it's good money. Um, the hours are 12 hour, 10 to 12 hours, um, which is awesome. Every once in a while it's more, but then you're paid overtime because you're part of the union. Um, and at the end of the day, there's no stress. It's not like, you know, I went in, I did my job, and then at the end of the day, my, do my job is done. There's nothing that I'm taking home. Um, and right now, not that I'm going to pitch you, not that I'm saying that you should come be in the film industry, but right now it's a really busy time for film in Vancouver. So if you wanted to get into set dressing, it honestly wouldn't be hard. Um, there are just like some key things that you need to know. <clears throat> you have to get a toolkit together. But those things are not difficult. So if you have any questions about it, leave me a comment below. Alright, wish me luck today. It's like 7am, super early. I might go back to bed for a little bit.